The Yorkshire Terrier is a small dog breed known for its silky hair and hypoallergenic coat. They are well suited to apartment life and make wonderful companion and lap dogs. Yorkies are known for their human like hair, which is the defining feature of the breed. However, this long, glossy coat requires some extra care and grooming. Yorkies don't have fur, they have hair, which is soft, smooth, and silky. Their hair is almost an exact replica of human hair. It doesn't shed and keeps growing like human hair. Their hair could reach to floor length and needs to be trimmed. Yorkies have long and thin hairs, which requires a regular brushing routine to keep them clean, smooth, and tangle free. Brushing is more important than bathing when it comes to the health and appearance of a coat. If not brushed, their long hair could easily form tangles and mats. Brushing also helps to get rid of dirt, debris, and loose hair. It stimulates their skin to produce more oils, which makes the coat healthier and shinier. Yorkshire Terriers are born with a fluffy coat that is different in color and texture from an adult coat. Start brushing puppies when they are around eight weeks old. At such a young age, they are not familiar with the grooming tools and may resist, but you can overcome this with praise and treats. Yorkie puppies don't need a lot of brushing, but it could be routinely done to make them familiar with the process. Use gentle grooming tools that don't pull their fur. Use a pin brush and never use a slicker brush on puppies. Make every session rewarding and enjoyable for them. Never brush a Yorkie's coat when it's dry. Their hairs are thin and could easily get damaged or even break if brushed with force. It is recommended to soften their hair using a conditioning spray. If the coat is naturally oily, you can skip this part. After softening their hair, the next step is to get rid of matted hair. It's natural for their long hairs to form knots or tangles. If you see any visible knots or matted hair, use your fingers to clear them. If that's not working, use a comb and scissors to get rid of the knots. First, you need to use a pin brush. Start brushing from the neck and work your way down towards their belly, chest, legs, and tail. Give short, smooth strokes in the direction of hair growth. Keep brushing until all the remaining knots are cleared and their hairs are straightened out. If required, you can use a slicker brush. However, a slicker brush is a bit too harsh for the thin hair of Yorkies, and it could reach their soft skin. Use it gently and only when your dog has heavily matted hair. The pin brush is the best alternative to a slicker brush. A bristle brush should be used at the end to add some shine to a dog's coat. It is used to get rid of dirt, debris, and loose hair from the coat, while also spreading natural oils throughout the coat. For their facial hair, use a comb to brush the hair around the dog's face, muzzle, and ears. You can also use a comb to brush around any matted hair around their paws and tail. Ideally, Yorkies have a single layered coat. However, not every Yorkie will have this ideal and correct coat type. Some have double coats, while others have cotton coat types, and it all depends upon their genes. According to the American Kennel Club, a silky coat is the standard coat of a Yorkshire Terrier. The AKC describes their coat as glossy, fine, and silky in nature. It is the typical coat of Yorkies that has long, straight hairs with a glossy sheen. This is the ideal and the most desirable coat of a Yorkshire Terrier. Yorkies of this coat type are registered by the American Kennel Club and can participate in the Westminster Kennel Club show. Cotton coats have a thick, wavy texture. This is largely due to their genetic inheritance. This coat grows only a few inches and then curls back. Due to its curly and wavy texture, this coat type is far more prone to matting, which is why many people trim their coats. Only the cotton coat type disqualifies a Yorkie from the dog show. Otherwise, it's not a defect or a health concern. However, this dense and wavy coat requires more upkeep and grooming. The long, silky hair of a Yorkshire Terrier requires regular brushing in order to keep them clean, smooth, and tangle-free. If not brushed regularly, their long hair can become dull and messy. Ideally, you should brush them daily, but if that's not possible, brush them several times a week. If your dog has a medium-length hair, it should be brushed several times a week. However, if your Yorkie has a long coat of show standard, it requires daily brushing. Yorkies with cotton coat types attract a lot of dirt and debris, and they are also more prone to matting. That's why they need much more brushing than the silky coats.
However, if you have trimmed their coat, they need to be brushed only several times a week. Yorkies have thin hair, which means their skin is less protected. You need to take special care when choosing grooming tools for your Yorkie. A pin brush and a bristle brush are the ultimate grooming brushes for Yorkies. Alternatively, you could buy a versatile brush that has pins on one side and bristles on the other side. A pin brush is the best choice for the long hairs of Yorkies. It has protective balls at the end of pins to prevent scratching of skin. Pin brushes are used to remove knots and tangles. However, it does not effectively detangle heavily matted hair. It has space between the pins that provide a gentle and soothing brush experience without pulling their hair or scratching their skin. A bristle brush is not used for removing knots and matted hair. Rather, it is specifically used for removing debris and loose hair, while also spreading natural oils throughout their coat. It has soft and flexible bristles that remove any debris or loose hair without damaging their skin. It provides a finishing touch by adding shine to a dog's coat. A slicker brush is a bit too harsh and is generally not recommended for Yorkies. However, it could be used if there is heavily matted hair. It could also be used if your Yorkie has a wavy or curly coat. A slicker brush is often used for double-coated dogs, while most Yorkies have single-layer coats. It penetrates deep into their coats, and that's why it is not recommended for the thin hair of Yorkies. The pin brush is the best alternative to a slicker brush. A comb is often used to brush hairs around the dog's face, muzzle, and ears. It is also used to brush his paws and tail. Use a metal toothed comb, which has dual teeth and spacing. A comb and scissors are often used in combination to clear out any knots and tangles. A conditioning spray is a must for Yorkies, as it makes brushing much easier. Yorkies should not be brushed when their coat is dry, as that could cause breakage of their thin hair. Use a conditioning or detangling spray before brushing. It softens their coat and matted hair, thus making it much easier to brush. Food plays a very important role in the health and appearance of a coat. Protein is the most important ingredient, as it counts for more than 90% of a dog's hair. Yorkies have silky hair, which could grow to floor length, and this growth of hair requires a lot of protein. Any deficiency of protein will cause damage or broken hairs. Fats in the form of omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids work as an anti-inflammatory agent and helps with dry, dull coats. The long coat of a Yorkshire Terrier can be quite challenging to maintain. Their long hair is far more prone to matting, and that's why many people trim their hair. Trimming is a way of keeping their coats short, and thus easily manageable. If you don't have enough time for daily grooming, it is best to keep their coats short. Yorkies have some excess hairs around their face, which need to be trimmed. Use a wide tooth comb to brush their facial fur and clear away any tangles or matted hair. Trimming around eyes should be done with extreme care, as it is a very delicate area. Use some thinning shears or scissors with rounded tips to avoid any injuries to eyes. Using the tip of the scissors, start trimming from the nose towards the center of the eyes. Clear away any extra hair that could be troublesome for their eyes. Yorkies have long fur around and below the nose, which could disturb them while eating. Use some thinning shears or clippers to trim extra hair around the nose. Yorkies need a regular trimming of the long hairs around their ears. Use some clippers or scissors to trim away the extra hair around their ears. Make sure to trim the visible outside area of the ear and don't insert anything inside. Paws and pads of Yorkies have some long hair, which needs to be trimmed. Use a comb and grooming scissors to clear away the extra hair on the front of the foot and around the paws. This excessive hair on the dog's feet should not be left too long, as that could disturb their walking ability. It is also recommended to trim the hair around their sanitary areas. If left too long, these hairs could easily trap feces and bacteria, which would become troublesome for your dog. Trimming their featherings is a totally personal choice, and you should do it only if you want. Yorkies have long fringe of hair around their bellies, legs, hindquarters, and tail. You can clip all of this excessive hair, Use clippers that are not too loud and adjust them in accordance with how short you want their fur to be. If you are not comfortable with trimming by yourself or you don't know how to do it, take them to a professional groomer. 
Yorkies need regular trimming of their long hair around every four to six weeks, depending on the growth of their hair. There are a variety of haircut types for the long, silky hair of Yorkies. You can select a haircut type and leave the rest to your groomer. Among these, puppy cut and the short cut are easy to maintain and don't require a lot of grooming. Long, show cuts obviously require a lot of care and grooming. Like any other dog breed, Yorkies don't like baths. However, baths are necessary. It improves the appearance of their coat by removing dirt, debris, and bad odor. It is also beneficial for their underlying skin, as it keeps allergies and parasites at bay. However, bathing should be done in moderation and in accordance with their needs. It is very important to brush your Yorkie before bathing him. It helps to remove tangles and matted hair that otherwise would be difficult to remove once the coat is wet. After getting wet, these tangles shrink and become more matted. Also, their long, silky hair will be difficult to wash if there are any debris or tangles in them. Use a pin brush and make their hair ready for bathing. Collect all the supplies you need for the bath and keep them close, such as shampoo, conditioner, towels, a washing cloth, etc. Because of their small size, Yorkies can be bathed in a bathtub or sink. Place a towel or non-slippery mat at the bottom surface to prevent your dog from slipping. The water temperature is very important. Yorkies are very sensitive to extreme temperatures. Make sure to use lukewarm water. Invite your dog to the bathtub using praise and treats. Yorkies may be reluctant to go into the bathtub, but you should lure them with treats and by using an encouraging voice. Start pouring water over his coat and whole body except the head. His head and face should be cleaned at the end, as pouring water over his face would scare him and he may try to jump out of the tub. Squeeze some dog-specific shampoo and rub it gently over his coat. Start from the neck and work the leather down towards the belly, legs, and tail, avoiding the face. Pay special attention to the areas which can easily trap dirt, like featherings, underbelly, tail, and sanitary areas. Their long hair should be washed with care. Use your fingers to massage the shampoo into their hair. Don't rub their hair in a circular motion, as that could make more tangles. Massage the shampoo gently and thoroughly until it reaches down to the skin, then leave it on for some time. His face should be washed at the end. Take special care of their eyes, ears, and muzzle, and prevent shampoo from getting near them. Use a damp washcloth to clean their head, face, and ears. Cover their ears with cotton balls during the bath. If water gets inside their ears, it could cause infection. It is very important to rinse your dog after washing. Yorkies have sensitive skin, and any soap residue can cause itching and irritation on their skin. You will have to double check and keep rinsing until the water runs clear. After rinsing his coat completely, it's time to dry his coat. Take a clean towel and rub it gently over his whole body. Your dog may take a big shake. It is the natural response of dogs to get rid of excess water. Yorkies have long hair, which might take a long time to dry naturally. So you can use a hair dryer to speed up the drying process. However, you need to be careful about their thin hair and sensitive skin. Keep the hair dryer on the lowest heat setting and hold it away from their skin. Don't aim at a specific area for a long period of time. Once his coat is dry, now it's time to apply some leave-in conditioner. You can use a natural moisturizing conditioner designed for their silky hair. It moisturizes their skin while also adding shine to their coat. At the end of the process, you can brush their coat once again. This helps to straighten their long hair. Use a pin brush for the process. Yorkies need shampoo and conditioners that are made specifically for their long, silky hair. Choose a gentle, organic, and pH-balanced shampoo. If your dog has allergies, you can use a vet-recommended shampoo. Avoid shampoo and conditioners that contain harsh chemicals and fragrances. Do not use human shampoo or even baby shampoo on dogs. They have different skin and pH balance needs than humans, and it could irritate their delicate skin. The bathing frequency of a Yorkshire Terrier depends on his coat type, skin condition, and haircut. According to the American Kennel Club, a Yorkie with short hair needs to be bathed every two weeks, while a Yorkie with long hair needs to be bathed every week. The Yorkshire Terrier Club of America 
also recommends weekly or bi-weekly baths, depending upon the length of their hair. It's obvious that Yorkies with long hair need more baths than short-haired Yorkies. However, bathing should be done on an as-needed basis. If your Yorkie has a lot of outdoor activities, you can give him weekly or bi-weekly baths. However, if your Yorkie isn't that active and his coat looks clean and odorless, then you can postpone bathing for a week. If your dog has allergies or other skin conditions, you can increase or decrease the bathing frequency based on your vet's recommendations. Normally, puppies don't need a lot of bathing. They could be bathed every couple of weeks. However, you should not bathe them unless they are around 10 weeks old. In the meantime, if required, you can wash them with a towel soaked in dog shampoo. Bathing should be done in moderation and in accordance with their needs. Overbathing is counterproductive. It stress away their natural oils, making their skin more dry and itchy. According to the breed standards of the American Kennel Club, Yorkies have small, V-shaped and erect ears. They are born with floppy ears, but soon they develop their typical prick ears that stand straight up. Around 20% of dogs have some form of ear problems. Examine their ears weekly for any kind of infection, ear mites or wax accumulation. Ear infections are more common in dogs because of the specific structure of their ear canals. Their L-shaped ear canals can easily trap dirt and debris, which, when combined with moisture, provides a breeding place for bacterial growth. Dog ear infections are generally caused by yeast or bacteria. It could also be caused by ear mites, which are very contagious in pets and could transfer from one animal to another. If your Yorkie has a recurring ear infection, it's mainly caused by allergies. There are certain signs of ear infection in dogs. If you notice a combination of these symptoms, take them to a vet for further treatment. Ear infections in dogs are easily treated if diagnosed early. However, if left untreated, it could cause permanent damage. Regular cleaning of their ears is essential to prevent infection and other ear problems. Collect all supplies you need, such as cotton balls, ear cleaning solution, towels, and your dog's favorite treats. Take a cotton ball, dip it in the ear cleaning solution, and clean the outside visible areas of the ear. Then squirt a few drops of cleaning solution into his ear canal. Gently rub the base of the ear canal for almost 30 seconds to distribute the solution throughout the ear. Let go of his ear and your dog will shake his head to get out the solution from the ear. Hold a towel close to his ear in order to collect debris and solution from the ear. At the end, wipe and dry the outside area of the ear with a cotton ball. Give your dog some treats for the completion of this process. Always use a dog-specific ear cleaning solution recommended by a vet. Hydrogen peroxide or homemade solutions often irritate their ears. Specifically formulated ear solutions for dogs help to fight off bacteria and dissolve wax or debris. Dogs have L-shaped ear canals, and inserting anything inside will further push the wax or debris, potentially damaging their eardrum. Don't insert Q-tips or anything else inside their ear canals. Moisture is the main reason for ear infection in dogs. Moisture fuels bacteria and yeast growth, which results in infection. It is very essential to keep their ears dry, especially after a bath or swimming. Positive reinforcement in the form of praise and treats will help you a lot in cleaning their ears. Dogs naturally don't like their ears to be handled, but with reward and praise, they will associate the process with a positive experience. Yorkies have some excessive hairs inside and around the ears. These excessive hairs can easily trap moisture and debris while also blocking the airflow towards the ear canal. Trim all the hair around the visible part of their ears. Don't pluck the inside hair as that could cause wounds. Examine their ears weekly and determine whether they need ear cleaning or not. Normally, dog ears are pink, odorless, and without any buildup of wax or debris. There are some obvious signs of ear infection, like redness, odor, frequent ear scratching, etc. The general rule of thumb is to clean their ears once a month. However, if your Yorkie has a history of ear infections, you can clean their ears more often. Your dog may also need frequent ear cleaning if he has allergies, ear mites, or spends a lot of time in water. 
overcleaning is another reason for ear infection in dogs. It could cause inflammation and irritation in their ears. Avoid over and deep cleaning and do it only when required. In the wild, dogs would naturally wear down their nails by walking, running, and scratching on rough surfaces. However, pet dogs don't have that lifestyle, and their nails require regular trimming. The Yorkie is a small dog breed, and it has tiny paws and nails. Nail trimming could be a challenging task, as most of the dogs are not comfortable with their paws being touched. Long nails could affect something as simple as walking. It disturbs their balance and walking style eventually leading to joint or postural problems. Long, overgrown nails could stick in a carpet or blanket, which could result in the breakage of the nail. There is also a danger of ingrown nails. Long nails could break easily, making the area more susceptible to infections. You don't need a specific skill set for nail trimming. However, you need to be careful because if your dog gets a painful trimming experience, he will be reluctant to the process in the future. If you are not comfortable with nail trimming, take them to a professional groomer and learn from him. Collect all the supplies you need, such as nail clippers, cotton balls, styptic powder, and treats. First, you need to make sure your dog is calm and relaxed. Place the dog in your lap or any other comfortable position. Hold his paw gently and locate his nail. Using a sharp nail clipper, start trimming the tip of the nail. You need to be very careful about the quick portion of the nails, which contains blood vessels. The quick is hard to find, since the majority of Yorkies have dark nails. In such cases, trim their nails bit by bit until you come across the quick. After a successful trimming session, give him treats and praise his behavior. The quick is the living portion of a dog's nail. It contains blood vessels and nerves that keep the nail alive and growing. If you accidentally cut the quick area of the nail and it starts bleeding, don't panic. Apply some styptic powder. It stops the bleeding. Give him treats and divert their attention towards somewhere else. The quick portion is clearly visible in light-colored nails, but since most of the Yorkies have dark nails, it is very hard to find their quick portion. Yorkies also have tiny paws and nails, making it more difficult to locate the quick portion. In such cases, trim their nails carefully. The Yorkie is a small dog breed, and it has very tiny nails. Buy a nail clipper that is designed for small dog breeds. Make sure the nail clipper is sharp so it gives a clear result. Don't use human nail clippers on dogs. Humans have flat, while dogs have round, thicker nails. Their nails are also positioned in a different way than humans. It is very helpful to make your dog used to nail trimming from a young age. Paws and nails are sensitive body parts, and dogs don't like them to be touched. However, if they are used to it from a young age, they will be more cooperative. Praise and treats are very helpful for making your dog used to the process. Give your dog his favorite treats whenever you touch his nails or trim them. This trick is very helpful in the beginning when you are trying to make the puppy comfortable with the process. The nail growth time of every dog is different and it depends upon their age, activity, lifestyle, etc. A general rule of thumb is to trim their nails every two weeks. The best way to determine the time of nail trimming is by observing their walk on the floor. If you can hear the tapping sound of their nails while walking on the floor, that signals it's time for nail trimming. Dental care is often overlooked, but it's very essential not only for oral hygiene, but for their overall health. Dental problems could reduce their lifespan by one to three years. According to the statistics of the American Veterinary Medical Association, around 80% of dogs have some form of periodontal disease by the age of three. Small dog breeds like Yorkshire Terriers are more prone to a number of dental and gum issues because of the anatomy of their mouth. Yorkies have small jaws, which are overcrowded by their teeth, and this makes them more susceptible to dental problems. Most dental problems begin with the development of plaque. When food particles get trapped in their teeth while eating, it provides a perfect environment for bacterial growth. The bacteria, combined with saliva and food, creates plaque. If not cleaned, plaque hardens over time and converts into tartar. As tartar accumulates, it starts infecting the gums. One thing leads to another, and finally, tooth decay occurs. 
Plaque buildup is the root cause of many periodontal diseases. The best way to prevent it is by regular brushing. Brushing their teeth regularly is the most effective way of preventing teeth and gum disease. Squirt a small amount of toothpaste on the brush and make your dog lick or sniff it. Open his mouth and start brushing his teeth. If your Yorkie is reluctant to the process, make him comfortable and start the process again. Brush his teeth gently in a circular motion. Yorkies have weak gums, so you don't need a brush with force. Make sure to brush all parts of their teeth, front, back, and top. Always use a dog's toothbrush and paste. Buy a toothbrush that is designed for small dog breeds like Yorkies. In the beginning, you can use a finger brush, which is a great option for the small mouth of Yorkies. Once your dog becomes accustomed to teeth brushing, you can switch to a more professional toothbrush designed for small dog breeds. Yorkies also need a canine's toothpaste, which comes in a variety of flavors and is even edible. This specifically formulated toothpaste also contains certain enzymes, which help in dissolving the plaque and tartar. Yorkies need specifically designed dental products that are tailored for their small teeth and weak gums. A human toothbrush is too large for their small mouths. Human toothpaste contains certain chemicals like xylitol and fluoride, which are toxic for dogs. Many periodontal diseases affect them more during the first few years of their lives, so you need to be vigilant during the first two to three years of their lives. From day one, make them comfortable with mouth touching, then slowly and gradually move towards mouth opening, rubbing their teeth with fingers, etc. Praise and treats will help you a lot in the process. White teeth, pink gums, and a fresh smell are the ultimate signs of good oral hygiene. Any disruptions in these indicate dental problems. There are some early signs of dental problems. A yellow or brownish discoloration of teeth indicates plaque buildup. It can be seen on the gum line and on the teeth. Red, inflamed, or bleeding gums are indications of gum issues. Bad breath is a good indicator of excessive tartar buildup and incoming periodontal diseases. When bacteria decomposes food particles, it produces a sulfur-like smell. Bad breath indicates the bad bacteria are in the process of developing gum diseases. However, bad breath in dogs can also be caused by other health issues like liver or kidney problems. Ideally, you should brush their teeth daily. However, if that's not possible, you should do it several times a week. It could be a painless session of about five minutes if your Yorkie is used to the process. There are a variety of dental care products such as dental wipes, chews, and treats. These products help to scrape off plaque and tartar from their teeth. These are specifically designed to clean a dog's teeth while also strengthening their gums. Choose products that are made from natural ingredients. However, these products work to a certain extent and are not a substitute for teeth brushing. Besides regular brushing, Yorkies also need a professional dental cleaning at least once a year. Yorkies are more prone to dental problems because of the anatomy of their mouths. A veterinarian will look for any dental problems that may have gone unnoticed, as well as a checkup of their teeth, roots, and gums.